Hello everybody. As I promised in the article in Faith Mag Magazine, um, we're doing a, a couple videos of some recipes from different cultures. In my parish, I have these gentlemen, and among others, um, they're Peruvian. And on Sundays, I often have my donut and coffee with them. And uh, several times, they brought me this dish um, that is from Peru. And Peru is the birthplace of the potato, believe it or not. So what would we Polish people or Irish people do without Peru? <laughs> So they have a dish that they prepare. It's kind of their national dish. It's called Papa de Wangaina. Papa de Wangaina. Papa de Wangaina. There we go. And it is a dish that's meatless. It's potatoes and eggs. We're going to go through the list, and they're going to prepare it for us today. I also wanted to do this video in Spanish, so this one's going to be translated for us. And they're going to actually do this recipe in Spanish, and hopefully many Spanish-speaking peoples in the diocese will have something um, from this article, too, that they can understand and, and do, and maybe have something wonderful from Peru, yeah? So I have with me Santos Ro Roja, Rojas, Rojas, and Juan Garcia, and they work here in Ascoda. They work um, on, on planes, on airplanes, and they're here every Sunday with me, and as they brought me this dish even years ago, I thought one day I would like to share this with the parish, and here I am sharing it with the whole diocese. They are sharing it. I got to show his apron because it says Peru. <laughs> Passion for dinner. Passion for the meal. <laughs> So we're going to have some Peruvian passion. And now we're going to go into a Spanish video. But I do have in the background Lorena Magalski, who is going to translate for us. Lorena grew up speaking Spanish, and so she is here to translate. And we'll, we'll do our best. But uh, this is a wonderful recipe. With that, we're going to, uh, I know that we have potatoes boiling on the stove and eggs boiling. So we have boiled eggs and boiled potatoes, and we're going to go from there. He sauteed some sweet pepper and onions with a little bit, a, a clove of garlic and a little bit of water that he, he used the blender for. And that's what he put in there to, uh, to, to go. And so with that, Santos is going to tell us what he did there, and we'll go from there. So welcome. Muchas gracias. No, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Listo. Okay, well, that's no. the stomach. It's okay. No, it's okay. I don't think it twists. Okay. Mm -hmm. It will go. No, digo, después esto, esto para el tiempo de vaciar, esto cómo se va a hacer después. Esto. Yeah. Yes. So it's a special pepper. Yeah, it's called ahi. Ahi, ahi, ahi pepper. Yeah, ahi. And um, it ahi. has a, a, a wonderful flavor. They get it in Detroit. Sometimes maybe you might find it at a specialty store in uh, Saginaw. But if you didn't have ahi pepper, you could substitute another. The yellow, the yellow. The yellow the pepper. Yellow. Yeah. Like a yellow. Uh, Santos, is it, is it it's sweet pepper? Or hot pepper? No, 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 no,
el sabor, el sabor del chile está sí, Ya le quitó la vena. Okay. No, le hemos sacado la vena porque si no va a picar. So it's not very hot. Le hemos sacado la vena y no pica demasiado. Okay. It's right. just got a little bite to it, but not Ahora very hot. Ahora vamos, vamos, yo vengo a echar el queso. Okay, he says he's going to put the cheese in there. Cheese. Queso. Queso. Queso fresco. Queso fresco. Queso fresco. So the, yes. the fresh yes. cheese. You can get this in our markets. Okay, so, okay, so, so, so there were the sauteed onions, the hot and pepper, the garlic that was mixed with water, the queso fresh, and la leche, a little milk. Say, like Porque si es para más, ya está más, porque hay más crema, ¿no? Pero como son seis... So the more milk you yeah. put, the, the lighter, but if you want it thicker, less Ahora echarle un poco de sal. And a little bit of salt. Salt. I, I tell people I can't speak Spanish, but I can eat in Spanish. <laughs> I know the food. Ahora vamos a encender la, 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 uh -huh. la tapa. Voy a taparlo. And then we're going to blend this into a sauce. Yes. Into a thick sauce. ¿Cuál es el de esto? This one. Buzz. Making it into a sauce. Do we want it very, very chop, mix, puree, like no pieces? Un poquito de sal. Uh, sal. Un small a amount more of salt. Oh, you want to add the pan? Little stir? No, not yet. No, no. He's Wait for. Oh, he's gonna add it. Oh, very good. I want to show this spice. Can I show them the pan. the spice? Yes. This is goya sazon. And I'm going to get it close to the camera. You can get it online. Um, I have some in my house, but um, some stores may have it. I actually, I found it once at a, at a Dollar Tree. Um, you found it at Dollar Tree? I found it at a Dollar Tree in Alpina. Really? Yes. And um, probably because where there's immigrants now that we're starting to see more of these, these, uh, no, no. De acuerdo, hay que ver, esto es espesa, pero no hace muy seco tampoco. No, no. Voy a prenderlo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Did we put bread in there? Um, yeah, there's, the pan? we put three of those, we have five of them. Well, the bread is going to thicken it even more. You want to hear that? So, can you say again what he just said? Okay, quiere que usted diga lo que estaba diciendo antes. No, está ahorita junto con el pan, con todo, y hay otro colorcito más amarillo, más crema, ya la aguacaína. Okay. Está echando el pan, el queso, se mezcló. Y con esto vamos a hacer un pequeño toque con esto, pero era poquito porque ya está bien amarillo. Ok, he said that, um, 
they like put three though. of those um, breads into, bread the, into pieces. So he broke three of these yes. breads into yep. pieces. pieces. And then he put half of that seasoning uh, package into that. So half of yep. the sazon yep. seasoning. And the, the, um, the more you do it, the darker the sauce is going to be. Yes, the more you, you yep. spin it, the it gets more yellow, right? Yep. Amarillo, Amarillo yellow. Okay. We want to hear what he said. Now he's going to go and steer it and check to see. see. And it's turned golden. It's already golden now. He wants a little. He said he's going to add a little bit more cheese. A little bit more cheese. We want to make it thicker. Porque este cheese le da gusto. Marina, le voy a echar más queso para que espese más. Sí, para espesar un poco más. He said he's going to put more cheese into it so he can make it a little thicker. Y un pan más lo voy a echar para que espese más. Maybe a little bit of bread. And these rolls are not the real crusty ones. He can break it up in there. Con esto ya estamos. Here we go, one more spin around the world. More speed? Yes. Okay. More speed. Liquify. Again, the one ah, it's nice and thick, and maybe we can show them on camera a little higher just so they can see it's it kind of just no, yeah, with the papa, 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 yeah, yeah, when you add the potatoes, so, so this is the sauce that will go on the dish. More liquefy? Speed. I know it, it's just hard to talk over the blender, so, um, but um, we are making the sauce that will go over the dish. So we're gonna go and look at the um, potatoes that are on the stove. And while we've been talking, he's been boiling the potato skins on, and eggs, in the huevos, papas. He's gonna make sure that they're done, and they're done. Now we're gonna... Aha! Uh -huh. Simply we're gonna peel the papas, and peel the huevos. Okay, now... Some cold water on it, so he, he doesn't peel them. Okay, now we're gonna peel the papas. Okay, now we're gonna peel the papas. Okay, now we're gonna peel the papas. To protect las manos. <laughs> From the, the heat. Muy caliente, very hot. The potatoes, uh, they were boiled, boiling. It cools it down just enough. Yeah, but they see the papa. Papa they see. Se mucho mucho la papa. They boiled very hot. Sí, de mucho cuidado cuando se cocha la papa, se cocha demasiado. So you gotta be very careful when you do the potatoes this way because it's gonna be super hot. Yes. 
You can let them cool a little bit. You can let them cool a little bit. Please don't burn your hands, uh, Santos. Yeah. Watch so he does not burn his hands. <laughs> I think by the next one, it's going to be professional. Yes. You know exactly what to do. Where, where this? I will. I'm going to make sure that this is all good. Yeah. We. Uh, Take the one with the Filipino families last night. Did you? And it went just like this, and I edited it down, it turned out beautiful. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. So here I will be able to to fix the video too. We want to present it beautiful. Juan, how long have you been here in Ascoda? 15 years. 15? 13. 13 years. Wonderful. And how long has Santos been here? Yeah. Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. I know they are very hard workers, but I always look for them in my church. They are my my Peruvian buddies. I see them in the back, and but by the time I get to coffee and donuts, they wait for me. I sit with them. At um, at work, where you work on the airplanes here in Ascoda, they change up the passenger planes into cargo planes and there are people from Peru but other Spanish-speaking countries there's Colombia uh, Honduras, Honduras Salvador. El Salvador. Salvador so there are many um, I know there are like some shifts that are mostly uh, uh, Latinos right yeah. Mexico too, yes. And Lorena, your background is Mexico, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I grew up in a small little town in Mexico. Uh huh. Very smaller than Ascoda. Uh huh. Well, I thank you all for giving us your time and your treasure, your treasure from Peru. I, I, I really mean that. It seems like we owe, the world owes Peru for the potato. <laughs> it feeds so many people throughout the world. This is a wonderful dish, too. And I will tell you that it's... He's a you're going to have to wait five minutes. Yeah. 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 We made the sauce, and the sauce was made with the onion and the garlic that was smashed with water or spun with water, um, and a little bit of uh, canola oil. He just sauteed that that chili, and so um, you know, like like we said last night when the um, Filipino people were cooking. You can't always find what you might have in Peru in the United States, but you you have to substitute, so you try to get close. So, yeah. I, I will say that um, you can get a lot of things online now, but fresh vegetables, would be, you can get them, but whether you can get ahi pepper, I don't know. They said they, they got this from Detroit. They went down to... Uh, he said it's a store down in, in Detroit, but he doesn't know the name of it. Yes. But it's for Latinos. But it's a Latino yes. store, yeah. I know there are special stores in Saginaw, too, that have some of the international foods. Yeah. Um, but, you know, 
you can be surprised because more and more um, we are seeing some of these items in our stores. You want a, a knife? He needs, an, no, he needs another cup, like a measuring cup. Same this. Uh, a pitcher? No, he said a bowl. Like the white one. Ah, it's it's very good. I'll get I will get it. Oh, you you get the the spoon. It's nice and thick. The bread and the the cream, the cheese. It made this beautiful cream sauce. So it's cheesy. It's got the special pepper and onion and a touch of garlic. And the sasson, the sasson seasoning. It's okay. Yeah, I'm going to There. Mm. Let me get where we can see him pull this together. So I think he'll do it over there. Cutting the. Cutting the eggs. I, I have had this dish before, so as I see it coming together, it makes me smile. Just knowing what we are about to see. Bringing the potatoes that have been just uh, boiled and now peeled, the skin's taken off. And they're making like... It's a presentation. Yes, a presentation, a like a quarter inch cuts. And the potatoes there might be still a little hot. It's better to let it cool. Better to let them cool, they, they keep their shape better. The ones in the bottom will be hotter. It's like going to school. Yes, it's like going to school. Ahí a la escuela. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Like quarter inch cuts, they're thicker. This is a hearty dish. Yeah, when you when you eat it, you you feel like it's a meal. It's a wonderful. <laughs> so he has the potatoes down. He's putting the sauce on. No, no, it's He said he eats this dish every day in his house. Every day? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Santa te encanta. Sí, yo preparo el trabajo con los espaguetis. Yo me hago con los espaguetis, a ver cómo los espaguetis con esto. Oh, he said when he makes spaghetti, he makes the sauce and he pours uh, the sauce over the his spaghetti. The same sauce yes. can go over spaghetti. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said it's very, very rich and good. Mm -hmm. Listo. Claro, pues. Sí, entonces, sí, sí. Is that black olives? Black olives. Oh, beautiful. Rico. Rico, Rico. Yes. We're going to have yeast. Is it spicy? Because I can't eat spicy. It's not spicy. No, it's okay. 
you'll, you'll be surprised. No, 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 it's not worth it. Are you looking for uh, flatware? No, because you don't want to put chile. Ah, no, chile, no, 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 no. I'm going to be the taster. And you get a, a piece of potato with this rich sauce. And it just has a little tint of pepper in the back. It does have like, pepper? Like a hot pepper, but I mean like a black pepper. Uh -huh. mm. It is so good. And the eggs. Also menos. I think he's giving you a hard time. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.